This month's haul is going to be pretty short. Hey, I'm Amy and welcome or welcome back. It is that time of the month. It is time for another monthly DVD and Blu-ray haul. Like I said at the beginning, this is going to be a fairly short haul because I didn't pick up a whole lot of things this month. I have some DVDs and Blu-rays. Actually, I think they are all DVD. Oh no, they're there are some Blu-rays I got from work and then some that I picked up. So let's just jump right into it with the three, technically four movies I got from work. They are all still in the wrapping. I haven't even opened them up yet. The first one is Freak Show. It is a IFC movie. I am not a whole, I, I don't know exactly what this movie is about, but it looks like so much fun. All the artwork I've seen and it has like a really great cast. Um, Anna Sophia Robb is in it, Abigail Breslin, Laverne Cox, Bette Midler. Bette Midler is really the reason that I like chose to grab this movie when they were bringing it around. But it just looks really fun and I think I will really enjoy it when I do finally get a chance to watch it. I don't know if this movie is out yet, I might have gotten an early copy of it, but it is a DVD. The next two are Blu-rays. The first one of those Blu-rays is Black Christmas. This is the original slasher. I have never seen it before, but I thought might as well pick it up because it is like the OG of slasher movies and my favorite kind of horror movies are slasher movies from the early 70s to up to Scream. Those are kind of some of the movies that I really, really enjoy because they were done really well and they are like the biggest part of horror history. I'm not a huge fan of the torture porn and gory stuff that like Saw and all of that stuff or any of the supernatural kind of stuff like Paranormal Activity or it starts with a C, I don't even know. The like weird ghost stuff, I'm not really into all of that modern horror stuff. And don't get me started on like Chinese and Japanese horror movies, like Asian horror is terrifying. I love the original slasher movies and I thought this one would be really fun to check out. Finally, again, it is also still in the wrapping, but I've heard a lot of great things and thought might as well pick this up. It is a very old release but I am very excited to check that one out finally. And the last one I got from work is technically two movies in one as a double feature. It is Bill and Ted's Most Excellent Adventure double feature. It is three Blu-rays. It has a bunch of stuff on it. It's got Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey on it. And to be quite honest, I haven't seen either of these yet. I know I haven't seen them. It's crazy. I love Keanu Reeves and I haven't seen these yet, but I believe they are on the 1001 checklist challenge, so I probably will be watching at least Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, I believe is on there. Actually, you know what, why don't we just check right now. One minute, 37 seconds later. It is not on the 1001 list, but because they just announced the third movie they're making this year and it'll be coming out probably in 2018, I thought might as well get caught up now and maybe I'll do a review of the two of these when that movie is about to come out, but I feel like that's gonna be a while because it takes a while to film that kind of stuff. So I may do a review on each of these separately later down the line, but I have been meaning to watch this movie or both of these movies for quite a while. And now for the last three that I picked up myself, you probably already know what two of the three of them are because I talked about them in last month's haul. But the first one is The Disaster Artist. I absolutely love this movie. It was probably one of my favorite movies of last year. I got The Room last month and the day I got this, I put it in and I watched both the full version of it and then the commentary version of it with Tommy Wiseau. It was probably the greatest thing ever because he just goes off the rails and he doesn't really talk about the movie. He makes comments on the way people acted and the way things happened and it's really really funny. If you have not watched this movie, you need to, especially if you like The Room. If you haven't watched The Room, you need to watch The Room if you're a fan of filmmaking. But if you have seen this movie and you haven't watched the commentary or listened to the commentary at least, you need to because it is the best thing ever, especially if you enjoy Tommy Wiseau. Next is a one that I 
probably should have had forever ago, but I finally picked it up because my sister was asking me about it. And she, I get the digital copies of most any movie that gets put out because I put them on a shared digital library for my family. My sister was asking me why this wasn't up there and I'm like, well, I don't have it. So I ended up picking up Captain America the First Avenger because my sister wanted it for the digital library. But I also have had this on my list to get for a while because for some reason the only like Marvel movies I have are I think the first Avengers movie or maybe Age of Ultron and Winter Soldier. I think those are the only ones before having Thor and the next one that I'm going to be showing you guys. But finally got Captain America and I'm so excited about it because this is probably one of my favorite of the Marvel movies. The older ones at least. I just, this is one, I, this is the one, this is the, how can I, how many times can I say this is the, Captain America was the first Marvel movie I really watched. I don't think I watched Iron Man before this movie came out. So it was like this right before Avengers came out. My sister and I watched this for the first time together. And that's when I fell in love with Marvel Cinematic Universe. As you can probably guess, the next one is of course Black Panther. This was a great movie. This is probably my favorite Marvel movie so far. My favorite Marvel Cinematic Universe movie like the Disney because if you count Deadpool, I don't know. I really, really enjoyed the first Deadpool movie, but I absolutely love Black Panther. Well, Thor, I guess, but Black Panther was so good. And I just love the artwork on this. At least, I don't, the Steelbook artwork is really great, but I like the slip on this, how it's like silver and reflective. I like what they're doing with the slips for Disney movies nowadays. They have this like metallic border around the edge that shows that it's like a combo pack. I like that packaging on it. So those are my very, very quick pickups for the month of May. I don't know if I will get a chance to do a haul for June because June is going to be very busy for me with doing a lot of new movie reviews and there'll probably be a bunch of trailers coming out for any movies coming out over the holiday season. So I'll be doing a bunch of reactions to those as well. Plus I have a friend coming in from out of state to visit me. So that'll be a lot of fun and we'll be filming a lot of videos so you can get excited for that. There's gonna be some fun things. And June is also my one year anniversary on YouTube, at least creating content regularly on this channel. I've had this channel for probably like seven years now and I just started creating content on here a year ago so I'll be having some fun videos for that in June. I will try to do a haul video at the end of the month. It may not be sort of this kind of haul with Blu-rays and DVDs but there is a little something that I'm getting in a couple days that I will put in a haul video that I kind of want to talk about that goes along a little bit with my 1001 challenge. So be excited for that. I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you have picked up through the month of May. If there are any movies that you are excited about getting for June that are coming out in June, let me know. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really, truly do appreciate every single one of you. Let me know who you are in the comments down below and let's be friends. If you enjoyed this, leave a like and subscribe if you're new because I love talking movies, TV shows, filmmaking, and film history with you guys and hope to see you next time. Bye.